I'm Christine Sullivan, and I'm an editor at World Book Encyclopedia. Stegosaurus was a large plant eater that lived about 150 million years ago in what is now the western United States. It is among the most recognizable of the dinosaurs, largely because of the bony plates that ran along its back. Stegosaurus also had two pairs of spikes on the end of its tail, which it could swing to defend itself from attackers. It had a small, narrow head with a beak at the front and teeth farther back. The front legs were less than half as long as the back legs, so the back was rounded and the head was low to the ground. The bony plates were shaped like huge arrowheads that ran in two rows along the dinosaur's back and tail. Scientists have debated the function of these plates ever since Stegosaurus was discovered well over a century ago. Initially, many scientists viewed the plates as armor to protect the animal from attackers. Stegosaurus certainly lived in a dangerous environment. There is good evidence that it was attacked by Allosaurus, one of the most fearsome meat eaters that has ever lived. For example, scientists have found Allosaurus bones with puncture wounds that match the shape of the tail spikes on Stegosaurus. Clearly, the tail was a real threat to predators. However, there are several reasons to doubt that the plates served as armor. For one, the sides of the animal were still entirely exposed, so a predator could avoid the plates and bite Stegosaurus elsewhere. Also, the plates were relatively thin, and they were filled with blood vessels. If Allosaurus or some other large predator bit into one of the plates, there's a good chance the plate would snap in half and bleed heavily. That is not good armor. Another theory is that the plates help the dinosaur to control its body temperature. If Stegosaurus needed to cool down, it could fill the plates with warm blood. Air passing over the plates would absorb heat from the blood and thus cool the animal. If Stegosaurus needed to warm up, it could bask with its plates in the sunlight. The sunlight would warm the blood in the plates. However, some scientists are skeptical of this explanation. They question why Stegosaurus would need plates to control its body temperature when other dinosaurs of similar size did fine without them. They also argue that the arrangement of blood vessels is inconsistent with temperature control. Another major theory is that the plates were used for display. The plates would have made Stegosaurus appear taller, so they may have helped to intimidate other animals. The size and condition of the plates may have helped to signal how healthy the animal was, helping it to attract mates. Some scientists even speculate that the dinosaur may have been able to fill the plates with blood to change its color. This would have made for a striking display. Stegosaurus has another claim to fame, though. It's nothing to brag about. Stegosaurus had an incredibly small brain for an animal of its size. In fact, its brain was only about the size of a dog's brain, though the rest of its body weighed about 100 times more than a dog. As a result, Stegosaurus has long been depicted as a very stupid animal. In fact, early scientists questioned whether Stegosaurus even had the brain power to control its own body. They suggested that a hollow space in the hips may have held a sort of second brain that controlled the rear of the animal. That is a neat idea, but there's never been any real evidence to support it. Scientists no longer take the idea seriously. It is hard to say how intelligent Stegosaurus actually was, but its brain was certainly large enough to control its body. Stegosaurus was one of the first dinosaurs discovered. Unfortunately, its tiny brain fed into early misunderstandings about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were depicted as lumbering, unintelligent beasts. According to this way of thinking, dinosaurs became extinct because they were too slow and too stupid, especially as intelligent mammals came into their own. Part of the problem was that scientists thought dinosaurs were closely related to lizards, and they assumed that dinosaurs had many lizard-like traits. For example, they thought that dinosaurs dragged their tails, as lizards do. Today, 
We know that the closest living relatives of dinosaurs are birds and crocodiles, not lizards. If scientists had discovered an intelligent bird-like dinosaur, such as Velociraptor, earlier on, they might not have made so many mistaken assumptions. Despite its small brain, Stegosaurus and its relatives thrived for tens of millions of years. But Stegosaurs went into decline after the end of the Jurassic period, about 145 million years ago. Other groups of dinosaurs continue to thrive for another 80 million years. Scientists do not know why Stegosaurs went into decline, but it probably had nothing to do with their tiny brains. Rather, Stegosaurs may have struggled to compete with other plant-eating dinosaurs. Whatever the reason for its extinction, the world will never see an animal like Stegosaurus again.